Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and this video, series of videos, where we're going to be playing as Byzantium, or the Byzantine Empire who we've just, just been introduced to in the Frontier Pack. Th this game is ridiculous and Byzantium are ridiculous and you are going to want this seed. This is an archipelago 12 player map with all settings left identically to as they're given to you. The seed is here, I've got a bunch of mods on, don't worry about that, they're all cosmetic, they don't change the seed, but really come to the Discord, come find the seed, you want to play this one, honestly, look at this start. Oh my god, we've got not one but two geothermal fissures, we've got a bunch of mountains all around us, this is like the dream campus start. I think this tile here is a plus five, just off the bat which is wonderful. I think there's a plus five over here as well. Oh, it's brilliant, but that's not even why we're going to be playing. Now, I sometimes, when playing Civ 6, I, I kind of get confused as to which victory condition I'm going to go for, especially if you've got a game that's going really well on Deity. You start to snowball a bit, maybe you get trapped between culture and diplomacy, or maybe you get trapped between science and domination. Well, the Byzantines, my god, they, they make that decision very easy for you because they pretty much fulfill any victory condition that you want as long as it's religion or domination. I think these guys are now the best religious crusade domination squadron combo in the game. Better than Mapushi was. These guys are nuts and you will see why. We're playing on an archipelago map so we can have some fun with the Dromons, their unique quadmarine replacement, which is great because I can't pronounce that word, but Droman, my god I can pronounce. It's just like the regular boat, except it's got two range, which is brilliant. That extra range just actually makes it a decent, useful boat, honestly. And that plus 10 combat strength against units is brilliant because that stacks up with Texas. One of the most interesting and one of the most ridiculously powerful um, Civ bonuses the countries have been given. Like this Empire bonus is nuts. Plus three combat strength and religious strength for each holy city converted to my religion. So there are going to be seven holy cities on this map because we're playing 12 player. Yes, that's right. I played a big map purely because we could really abuse this. So as soon as I get a religion, that is plus three immediately. I and mean, then if I get all seven holy sites, which pretty much is a bit, you know, religious win, that's plus 21 combat strength. And we get religious strength as well, which means our apostles are super powerful. This is nuts. And that, that I mean, that's good. The overpowered thing, and it's not even the plus one great profit point, although that's brilliant because that stacks up for a load more faith and basically guarantees that you get a religion. So that's all nuts. But the religion spread to nearby cities when an enemy civilization or city-state unit is defeated is absolutely ridiculous. Because yes, that's right, this is going to be a crusade game. We're going to pick crusade and we're going to combine it in the most ridiculous way. Between crusade and taxis, we're going to have some ridiculous combat strength. Mongolia is going to look at us and go, oh, oh, that's... That's not fair. And I mean, if that wasn't enough, heavy and light cavalry units do full damage against cities as long as they're my religion. Well, they will be my religion. It's almost impossible not to be my religion. The Tagmas, they make units even more powerful. So let's just add this up, right? I've got two Tagmas. One stood next to the other. They've got plus four combat strength. I've got two holy sites. That's plus six. We're now on plus 10. I've got Crusade. That's another plus 10, which gives me plus 20. And they do full damage against cities. I mean, Honestly, the Hippodrome, this, this replacement district, is, is the worst thing in the Empire. And quite frankly, it's brilliant because that plus three amenities is really good. But the three heavy cavalry unit, oh my god, that is nuts. Now, you guys will probably tear your hair out when you see me do this, but my trick, whenever you have a geothermal fission next to you, is to settle right on top of it. You're not going to be able to do anything to that tile until well into the future era? Is it the future era or is it the information era when you get geothermal? Oh, you know what? That is a good point. But I think it doesn't really matter. My point is is pretty much geothermal plant. Where is it? Synthetic materials, which I believe is in the atomic era. I lie. I lie. There we go. You know what? I'm, I'm utterly making it up. But okay. My point still stands. The atomic era until we can improve that tile. We can't put districts on it, but we can settle on it. In addition, if we settle on it, our city gets not only the plus two to all the campuses around it, as long as you put a campus around it, but we also get the one science per turn. That 
3.5 science as opposed to 2.5 science means that instead of 20 turns for astrology, we're getting 15 turns. If I can shave five turns off getting a religion, I, my god, I'm going to do it. That is absolutely nuts. Now, what tile am I working? I'm going to be working this tile. Okay, that's going to give me loads of gold. Do I want the production or do I want the three gold? Or I can go for the extra science and really double down on getting the astrology district. Because, I mean, this holy site, that's, that's pretty good. That's a plus three immediately. I could get the warrior... Mm. What do I do? What do I do, ladies and gentlemen? What do I do? I really, really want to get the monument up because where I'm aiming, I don't normally beeline the divine right, but we've got to... The, the tagmas are just brilliant units. They're 48 strength and only 10 iron. Oh, brilliant. So... Yeah, we gotta we gotta beeline that. Whilst effectively on this one, I need to get writing, but then I need to be like, well, actually, I do need bronze working as well because we've got a load of rainforest around us. But shipbuilding is where we need to get to. Own two galleys. That's what well, I mean. Doesn't look like we've actually got any coast. This is an archipelago map, I promise, but no coast for us. Um, hmm, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I went for that because it's a hill tile, so I thought there'd be some good visibility around it. Okay, so the Ikil is also next to our empire. One tile, impossible natural wonder, plus 50% production when producing wonders and districts in adjacent. Ah, oh, all right. So now we have nine tile. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're doubling down on this. I'm going to work that tile as well. We're going to go to seven turns. <laughs> seven turns and then we can build something um i reckon we'll oh you know what is it even worth it this is the thing and if i do nine turns instead then i can build a nine turn slinger oh it's almost too good you know what let's do that you know actually no screw it we're gonna do a warrior because warriors are more useful than slingers at the moment oh i can't believe that yeah, right. If this isn't proof that you need to jet, like sign up to Discord now. If you haven't got an account, go and get it, right? Just just get Discord and join me. Oh, this is nuts. Oh, and look, and there's a tribal hut here as well. As if this couldn't get any better. Go on, give me um, 20 faith. Why not? Why the hell not? At this point, <laughs> no, it's a relic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the start. So not only are we playing the most overpowered Civ that they have thrown into the game so far, but we also have a Relic start, which gives us a guaranteed Pantheon, which means we're pretty much going to get a guaranteed Religion. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. Oh look, and there's a city-state over here as well. Who is it? It's Venice. It's Venice. Do we, do we meet them first? Or have we got someone near us? We've met them first, so that's another plus one gold. Okay, it's not as great as it used to be, but recruit a great prophet. Oh my god. Like, honestly. You know what? Having a city-state so close to us, that's pretty good, because once we get a religion, we can kill the city-state's units um, and basically just sort of spread our religion that way. We're going to be killing a lot. There is, like, city-states at this point. I'm not entirely sure whether we're going to keep them on side or not. I mean, we may just have to kill all of them. Oh, there's a scout over there. Ugh. Ooh. Another terrible hut. Um, there is... I mean, this appears to be a lake over here, but there is the sea over here. So I think I can just about squeeze a harbour district out on that if I need to, which is a good thing to be able to do. Right, research time. Oh my god, I love this. Plus four science already. This is pretty good as a start. Should we go for bronze working? Mining, is that really going to be of use to us? Or do we go pottery in order to get the irrigation going? Because we've got a lot of stuff. Or do we just slam dunk and immediately just go for sailing and then celestial navigation? Oh, ooh, choices. Let's go for pottery first and then we'll see, see if we meet anyone and get writing. Because again, there are some pretty good things around here. Although, actually, there's no point getting writing. Uh, I mean, there is a plus one, two, four site there, but this, this plus, ah, oh, we need bronze working. Oh my god, too many things. Too many things. Um, okay. Okay, somebody has a settler already. That's fine. That's good. That kind of makes the choice up for me, because I did want Divine Spark. Because that plus one holy site, or plus one profit point, stacks with the plus one profit point. 
So I should be getting plus three if I build a holy site. So there's my lovely plus three holy site. We've got 12 turns. I think I'm going to just make sure that we work the production just to force ourselves into that one. I do need, I, I want to make sure that we actually have a chance of doing this. Oh, renaming cities on you. Look at that. Um, eight and, oh, hang on. That was a, that was a good. What was that working if I, if I focus on production? It's just working that hill tower there. Oh, is it worth it? Because that slows down my city growth. No, you know what? I'd rather my city grew. But this reminds me. Ah, much better. What's in this goody hut? 40 gold. Hey, that's that's good. That means we may be able to actually save up a bit of gold and um, use it to buy myself a great profit. Um, let barbarians attack you, uh, especially if you're in rainforest and hills and you get the defensive bonuses. And there's another hut over here. And these mountains just go on forever. Oh my god, there's so much science in there. Oh, and the, these hills here. Vilnius? Which one's Vilnius? Theatre Square District. Mm, not what we need particularly. Oh, another 40 gold. Alright, well, sure. Okay, yep, you keep hitting me. That's fine. Oh, Gilgamesh. Oh my god, this playthrough just gets better and better and better. Because you know what Gilgamesh means. Everybody knows what Gilgamesh means. It means instant friendship. <laughs> Okay, so Gilgamesh is here, and he is my best friend somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where he is, but sure. You know what, actually, what we do need to do is go for animal husbandry and make sure that we can find um, whether we've got horses or not. Um, maritime Industries, also especially important. We do need to unlock that soon. Uh, I don't need God King because I've already got my Pantheon, and Discipline is what we need because a survey is the most useless skill ever. Or civic, I should say. Don't I mean, what is the point in it? I'm not sure. Oh, look, there's Sumeria's uh, warrior. Oh, you may just get killed by a slinger, maybe. Oh, oh, they're going to survive? Oh, they did survive. Nice. Nice work. Well, I'll come in and see if I can help out a bit. Well, there's political philosophy and there's Singapore. I should point out, I'm not actually playing with any of the special things on yet. The Golden Age and the Dark Age um, new thing, that does look really cool. But I just wanted to have a game where I actually get to just show off Byzantium just for who they are. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, it would be really fun to play a game with those. And I will at some point. But I just thought, you know, let's just play a normal game for now. Has anyone got a great... Oh, yes, someone actually has. They've already got a holy site. Wow. Someone's quick off the um, off the old mark. At any rate, I get the plus three era score for doing a plus three uh, uh, holy site, which is very good indeed. We're going to go for holy site prayers because I do want to get this religion out as quick as possible. And we've already got 15 out of 25 points and 21 turns left. And have a look at this, continents. There's actually another continent here and here. If we settle another city here, that'll be my first city on that continent. And I should be able to just, like, jump on it immediately. That's brilliant. Um, settler, 320 gold. We almost have enough money for a settler right off the bat. Oh, Genghis Khan. All right, well, this playthrough was bound to get a little bit tough at some point. I have no idea where Genghis is. Should we send him a delegation? Let's do it, see if we can make friends with him. Yeah, look at this. Plus three points per turn. Oh, it's so useful. It just means we're so likely to be able to pick up a religion, and religion is just so essential for our game. Okay, right, Mongolia is already by my capital. Oh dear. No horses around. No horses around. All right, so this is going to be an interesting sort of game, because I was, I was well, hoping I could do a horseman rush on, like, Vilnius and Singapore and just take them. But nope. Nope, 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 nope. Can't do that. Let's just get mining. There's the Sattler. Should we just do that? Or do I get a shrine? Hmm, you know what, I might actually just have to get a shrine just to double down on the old religion thing here. Um, because I'm about to get one and I want to get Feed the World in order to stack my religion really well. You know what, oh, I'm going to keep changing my mind, but I, yeah, the shrine is what I want. I think I have a strategy here and getting a religion is so important in that strategy, I cannot tell you. It's a good thing Gilgamesh is so friendly at the beginning of the game because they've already got war carts everywhere. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, okay, um, we've done a couple of holy site prayers. We are now only one turn off getting a religion. That's wonderful. That is really, really, really good. Writing, where are we going to put writing down? In fact, there's no point getting writing because actually I do want to put it on this tile. 
because then that gets the double bonus. I might put the government plaza on that tile. So um, let's get a builder and let's switch to bronze working. And then I'm going to go for craftsmanship. Yeah, that should work. Canada. Oh, Canada. I'm always tempted to just declare or to denounce them immediately. Hey, Canada's in the game, though. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, right. John the Baptist immediately gets into my empire, and it's tempting to make the Eastern Orthodoxy that um, the Byzantiums founded. But I've got a much better idea. Severus feed the world, and the most important thing is that we immediately pick up Crusade, because this is just ridiculous. Okay, now that we have ourselves a lovely religion, we need to just keep an eye on getting a military, because as I say, if we kill like Vilnius's warriors over here, which is a really good idea actually, I start to spread my religion around without actually having to get myself a missionary up and running, which is great. And the reason I got um, Feed the World over Work Ethic, which is the other good one, because Work Ethic could have given me plus three production, which makes a huge difference. That would have been, well, almost 50% more in my uh, capital. There is still a bug where if it gets plundered and you fix it, the production bonus doesn't reappear, which is really annoying at the moment, and I can't be asked to fight with that one. But also, the thing about Feed the World is that it applies to both shrines and temples, so that's plus six food and plus four housing. It makes you build shrines and temples in every single city. It actually forces you to do it. And it's so worth it because later in the game when we get the Grand Master's Chapel and we've got that faith and we can chuck it at things like great engineers or we can chuck it at great scientists, we, we'll be very happy that we did it, honestly. It's, it is every time I think it's worth it. No one I've met is making a religion. Don't forget, huge map, so 12 people. But no one I've met has made a religion just yet, which is pretty good. I think I will get a mine down immediately. See if I can get that working for me. I have zero envoys with Vilnius, so I'm going to declare war on them. And I'm just going to leave my warriors here and see if they get tempted to come and attack me. Because as I say, if I just get a little bit of damage, a little bit of combat with them, I can actually spread my religion around, which would be an amazing thing. Um, somehow this era has just disappeared all of a sudden and I'm actually not going to get Golden Age which is a just disappointing, crushing feeling that I should feel embarrassed about. Like, how? How have I not done that? Ugh. Oh, has somebody built the uh, Stonehenge? Yes, they have. Somebody did build Stonehenge. That is a good thing. Uh, and nobody's building a religion around me. Oh, this is, this is good. Switching to a Gogi. Have I got any iron? That is the question. Iron. Let's have a look. Three results. One, two, three. Oh, there's loads. All right. I think I need to think about getting another settler up pronto. All right. That sounds good to me. Let's get the state workforce up. We need Pingala up. We need him on fine form. Come on, Vilnius. Send your troops out. Um, Exodius of the Evangelists. Oh, you just see. I'm going to get so many error score. So many points this time around. Um... Yep, let's just chop that rainforest down. Okay, cleared the space for the writing. Let's go do it. Oh, Vilnius aren't sending anybody out. That's so annoying. Oh, never mind. So, annoyingly, the second city did actually give me four era score. So that would have been absolutely fine. We, yeah, I'm keeping, I'm keeping Gilgamesh on side because if those war chariots come over, my god. And do I want to make friends with Mongolia? I kind of do, out of fear. Because if they send anything towards me, I'm going to just die a hideous death. All right, I'm going to move my trader to was Constantinople and send the trader back because these guys um, will be able to make me some delightful boats. If actually I figured out how to make boats sailing, that's pretty easy. Um, let's get a holy site going in the meantime. Where are we going to do one here? Or should we do one? I think we'll do one here. Plus two is fine. As I say, it's just building it is the most important thing. Um, do we get a campus in quickly? Or do we get the settler in to guarantee the iron? I might have to just rush the settler. And then I'll get the campus. Oh, look at plus six. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I think that's the best ordering. I don't want to miss out on the settler down here. Oh, Canada know exactly what I was doing. And they've just levied all of their units. Oh, 
Oh, that's so boring. Fine, whatever. <laughs> they are. They won't let me have any fun. What I'll do then is I'll just queue up masonry, get myself a battering ram, and we'll um we'll go pay them a visit. Oh, don't you love it when you see a Mongolian trader going out of your capital? <laughs> Ooh. Right, building galleys. I think galleys are going to be a good thing for me here. Oh look, oh, oh, it's got no, it's got no loyalty. What a shame. What a shame. Having a look at the loyalty here is really interesting because you can see Canada to the north. And they're kind of in this direction, which would imply they may be on the coast. So I'm just having a little peek, seeing what I can see. Because if I can, if I can send my troops over there, especially if I get some boats, and they do have a couple of coastal cities, you will just see, because I mean, Byzantium is so strong navally. We can just chuck out the Dromans and really just do some damage with them. All right, so immediately shifting to maritime industries. Wonderful, we've got urban planning going, which is a great, great policy. Here is my settler. I'm just gonna very slowly make my way over it. Maybe just actually plonking here or in or around the coast in that area. Um, do I want to send a warrior over with? I think actually there's been enough of Sumeria's units wandering in that area to make me think that we're okay. Um, okay, there's no city near here at the moment. I don't want to go too far ahead of myself. If I just hold fire, get myself a battering ram, we should be fine. Um, Pingala, I think, is the only start. So in you go to Istanbul. Oh, actually, there's a warrior. They've just spat a warrior out. Okay, right, I just need to lure them out a little bit. We may have to um, settle in a very bad place here because, oh no, Samiria Settler. They're going to steal the iron. Oh, this, this may go terribly wrong for us. Okay, actually, bringing the warrior in here is good. I just want to force that warrior. Yeah, if I can just get one kill off it. Like, I've got my first galley as well. That's really good. In fact, I just need the second galley out immediately so that I boost... Uh, up in the tree here to shipbuilding because that's where I need to go. Okay, let's have a look and see what happens here. Are they going to settle in place? No, they didn't settle in place. Okay. Uh, oh, look, you see, look, did you see my, my religion just spread? So the unit killed itself on my territory. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, wonderful. I'll just pillage this. We'll go over. I'll bring my warrior back, but that is wonderful. That has started to spread my religion already. Did you see that? Just that one kill. Oh, lovely. Yeah, okay, right. Just, I'm settling in place. It's not the optimum place. I know that, but I need the iron. I need at least one source of iron. Oh, I got so much era score from that. Oh, it was wonderful. Now, where is this settler going to go? This is the question. What is Samaria going to do about that? They're my friend. They declared friends with me. There's nothing they can do about that. Hee hee hee. Buy the battling, battering ram in. There we go. Uh, leave my warrior just there, but now look I've got crusade Crusade is in there. So, you know, there's nothing Vilnius is going to be able to do Yeah, you can keep your warriors all over my land all you want Sumeria All you want nothing you can do about it. Oh, they're only doing seven damage to me as well That is the best bit. Okay, right you link in and sleep. How much health have you got? 89 Okay, we'll give you one more one more turn Make you heal outside. I can Vilnius may be a target. Oh, Halifax. Oh, Halifax is off the coast, which is annoying. But don't forget, our Dromans, they have two range. Okay, that's decided it for me. Canada's on the coast, which means in order to declare war on them, I'm going to have to denounce them now because they have that annoying five turn. You can't just uh, surprise war them, which I think is ridiculous, but there we go. Right, battering ram in place. Okay, here comes the warrior attacks. The walls will start to fall. That's more than a plus three campus. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, yes. Okay, right, so we're already well on the way to a golden age now. We've still got 23 turns left, but unlike last time, we're spreading our religion around everywhere. Uh, and I don't think... Nope, Samaria, Mongolia, and Canada, none of them have any great profit points. So, none of them have a religion. Hee 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 hee. Oh, that's good. Already five cities. It's not bad, that, actually. Okay, that warrior attacks, um, followed by this one. The walls have gone. Vilnius is now open. And Canada have left a lovely 
plus three campus just next to me. Oh, and they've even left me an entertainment complex. Oh, how delightful. It's like they want to be taken over. They're just far too polite. Right, you know what? This holy site, yes, I know this really needs to be built. But at the moment, I think getting boats... Or do we actually just get... Oh, let's put some turns in. I only need two galleys. It's the Dromans I need. I was just thinking my warriors are way too weak to finish this war. But nope, just like in usual times, there's the battle cry. There's the plundering. So I've upped my plundering game significantly over the last few weeks. Okay, now, do we want to get ship... Shipbuilding is kind of the last tech that I need to rush. Because the knight unit, which is I really, really need, is on the... Um, culture tree, the civic tree. So if I go for political philosophy, I want Pingala to jump on Connoisseur first. That gives me another uh, six culture, probably. So that should boost that very quickly. Is that Vilnius taken? Yes, it is. Oh, I captured a unit as well. Very nice indeed. How's the religion spreading? It's spreading pretty well. Do I want to keep it? Yes, I do. Full loyalty to me. So, what am I going to do with this city? I think it's just basically got farms. The builder can fix these things. I need to irrig- have I got irrigation yet? I don't think I did. I think I skipped over it, so we'll get that afterwards. Um, no harbour- oh no, there is a harbour available here. Maybe we should actually focus on getting harbours in a little bit. Hmm. There's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. There's no production in this city, but it is a good loyalty base. So if, it's, if that's all it does, that's fine. Yes, Holy Site is really important. Droman, 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 Droman. Nine turns for a Droman. Oh, it takes so long. How much should I just buy one? 480 gold? What does it think I'm made of gold? Honestly, I might actually try and kill this Cahokian warrior. Because again, the religion burst is going to be absolutely massive. Um, uh, do I do it? Do I do it? Do it? Yep, I'm going to do it. Why not? Um, we'll just try and attack. Okay, but I think the warrior probably will run away rather than actually stay put, but we'll give it a go. Oh no, it attacked me! It attacked me! My troops are merely passing by. I love that's the only thing I can say. I can't even declare war on them. Okay. Uh, our clickarchy is a bit of a false economy. Yes. Yes, it is a good plus four combat strength for land units and melee and, and all that sort of stuff, but it doesn't work on horses and it doesn't work on dromans. So I'm going to go for Classical Republic because that amenity and that housing that you get later in the game works so well. You really, really want to keep that one. Okay, Maritime Industries, Urban Planning, and... Oh, let's go for... Again, I can't go for Gogi, can I? Um, let's go for plus two influence points and... Settlers? Builders. Builders. Always get builders. Builders are really good. Um, okay, let's get you to attack, and then you to attack, and then that should... Oof! Do you see that? One, two. Oh my god, my religion is spreading so well! <laughs> and this is all crusade. Don't forget that. This is all crusade. Okay, let's see what Venice can see. Okay, Mongolia are close. They are really, really close. They've got a huge army, though. Levy military, 465 gold. Ooh, and then I could just use that to take over Mongolia, in, th in theory. Um, I don't know how effective that would be because Mongolia are pretty powerful, but I'm going to keep that in, 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 my, in the back of my head, actually. That's not a bad idea. Oh, I lost Venice already. I mean, oh, King of Khan just stole it. Well, that's that idea gone. <laughs> oh, hello, hang on. Did you see that at the top? Canada have decided very helpfully to just put a settler there and I've denounced them for some time so there is a formal war um, I mean honestly what were you thinking oh my god that's just oh it's awful absolutely awful all right hang on so we've got to be a little bit careful here because they do have swordsmen I've, I'm not far off swordsmen how's my iron coming along four turns until I get a builder over there Oh, I really need that iron engaged much quicker than it's getting along at the moment. Do I just bother settling here? I mean, I might as well. It's a free city for me. Yeah. Oh, Lady Six Sky. Uh, okay, she's got boats. Oh, she's got boats. That's good. That's good. That means, in theory, she's on the coast. Okay, um, one gold per turn? No, I'll give you a couple of... There you go. Um, 
fever points. All right, we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, should be good. So just gonna move my warrior here, which means I've now got the crusade bonus. So hopefully we should be able to survive just a little bit longer. I've got this guy who's got turtle. Look at that. The crabs, they spread. It is a good thing that, right. We're not pushing in with our warriors. I'm just sort of closing the gap and making sure I, they can't get to me really. We need one turn away from the Droman. That's what I'm waiting for. The Droman will change everything. Who else could create the Droman? I know. I know. Isn't it great? Okay. Yeah, that didn't work very well for me. They're pretty, pretty tough. Um, uh, everyone retreat just for a little bit where we'll be back. Maybe. Possibly. I may lose a warrior, but that's okay. We don't mind losing the odd warrior. I think the priority here actually is just to get the walls up as quickly as possible now as i say this droman is going to be absolutely brilliant at defending it's just making sure the swordsman doesn't come and crash the party too quickly and no i need you to continue making dromans thank you yeah they got me they got me i'm not actually surprised about that one but um you know we'll we'll just take it as it is it's okay. As I say, the Dromans on the way. There we go. Iron is coming in. I've got to wait a few turns until that comes in. I've got a second source. I've just been saving my gold to be able to put that there. They are two of my two of my poor warriors are dead now, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just actually if they can get one tile of this water, that means I can use my Droman with Crusade, which is an amazing stack. Just rushed a second one. Lovely. We literally cannot have enough of these things. They are brilliant. Aha, here we go. Look at this. 38 combat strength. Oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Hang on, just move my galley up a little bit just so I've got good visibility. Lovely. Right, we're going to get a couple of kills now with these things. Um, and hopefully continue to spread our religion around just a little bit. We've got our backup and reinforcements on the way. I think we're okay. I think we're going to survive this a little assault. And we're gonna be able to push back pretty soon. Oh, they want to give me some horses. Yes, I will take that. Okay, have I actually unlocked horsemen yet? No, I didn't because there was no point. Okay, that's good to know. So we've now actually got some horses to use when we get them. Oh look, yes, they're running now. They're running now. They just got flames chucked onto them by boats, which is not a good look for anyone. Okay, right, um, you just attack. Oh yeah, you're going to regret. You're going to regret this, Canada. I I'm not entirely sure what they're going to regret. Plus, the problem is my galleys. I keep thinking I'm Norway and I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to be able to plunder the campus, but I can't. Ottawa. Ottawa is uh, open, though. That's quite cool. Oh, is this an opportunity to kill the swordsman? That would make my life a lot easier. Right, here's the Droman. We'll bump and we'll bump. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. Okay, we are nothing. I'm just going to move my galleys just into a very sort of suspiciously close place to Ottawa, which is their capital, unbelievably. So that's quite nice. Uh, we've already got six iron, which is good, but we've got a little gold now to spend, just making sure we get this. So let's just do that and we'll bump. That's a load of iron and apprenticeship boosted as well. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. Just need to prioritise the fight and anything that can actually fight back against my navy. Remember, navy's more important than land units. If we control the sea, we control everything. Oh, hang on. Did my religion just spread again? It just spread to another city that I don't actually know yet. That's good. I'm just waiting for it to go to Ottawa. Uh, how long until it does spread? Have I got, like, much? Oh my god, yeah. There's loads of pressure already. Oh, amazing. Now check out this. 800 faith. Great Admiral. Instantly creates a quadrine unit, plus 20% production towards units of the naval range promotion class. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> oh, that will be brilliant. Oh, a crossbow. They're bringing a crossbow to the party. Mm. Now that's a bit cheeky. I don't know if I like that. Um, so I've got a promotion saved in the bank. So if they do kill me, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, I left themselves perfectly open. Boom. Now Ottawa follows my religion. <laughs> and I've got bombardment on this. Oh, oh Canada. You don't realise that there is nothing you can do. There is literally nothing. 
that you can do right now to stop this. Um, let's just use my Great Admiral and then bump. Oh look, it's another Droman that's appeared just on the front line. Funny that, isn't it? And we're just peppering all your swordsmen. Uh, and my galley is just waiting outside Ottawa still. Oh, and another drone in here. Don't forget that. We've actually got a ton of these things. <laughs> in fact, actually, let's treat myself to a holy site first. Why not? Oh, I can actually take advantage of this natural wonder. That's a plus uh, five site, and it's being built 50% quicker. Oh, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, no, 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 Canada. You don't understand. This is, this is not going to go well for you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, uh, I've now got 20 uh, iron, which means there is a swordsman upgrade with crusade. That thing is absolutely nuts. My dromans don't have to go anywhere. Um, we're, we're in no rush. I'd rather just kill all the swordsmen for now. So we'll just continue to pepper them to level up my units. It's all very lovely, especially while reinforcements come. It's the slow game. It's a game I enjoy playing. Oh, look, holy sight adjacency bonuses. Oh, isn't that great? We've got builders, which you don't even need anymore, for reasons you will find out very soon. Let's keep the plus one production. Um, okay, that's all lovely. So, we are in a golden era. Uh, nobody, oh, in fact, actually, yeah, Canada's in a normal era. This is going to work really well for us, especially when we go for monumentality. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Actually, I'm just double-checking what religions people have got. Um, there's some interesting ones out there very interesting ones. I do kind of want to improve my religion pretty soon actually. I need to save up a little gold because I know there's a particular ability that I want on my religion that we all know and love and it is brilliant. Um, okay right this swordsman is kind of in the way and annoyingly I can't get to it. My drones can't get to it but I can start peppering these units. If I just do this and then want to like that. Let's get my galleys involved and then we'll start to a little bit of damage to Ottawa. That should force all of their units back as they begin to panic about what's happening. Um, Venice. Oh, okay. Venice is ours again, apparently. That's interesting. Uh, I wonder if Mongolia are planning to attack them. It would make sense. Oh, look, Mongolia have settled here. You know what? I don't actually mind all of these places they're settling. It's fine. It's fine. In the long run, it's all going to be mine. Okay, I like the idea of me causing less grievances, although I've just sold all my stuff. And I like the idea of they might be crabs being a really, really powerful religion. But again, I don't think anything is going to go through on that one. Oh no, it did! It did go through! Ha! Huh. Alright, well great, so we've actually got a really powerful religion now. Lovely. It's a shame we don't actually know anybody to fight, but there we go. 14 cities already. 14 cities pretty good isn't it right Halifax is being absolutely besieged um, I'm just going to just sort of abandon it a little bit actually yeah you know what let's go give this one a little bit of help um, yeah why not one attack and then oh a convenient second attack and Ottawa is mine <laughs> oh oh that was a lot of boosts that's a good city to keep uh, rebellion in four turns <laughs> Okay, that's not so good. Uh, let's just see if we can do something about that quickly. The government plaza does need to get finished. Okay, there's no point rushing that through. It's not going to hit in time. Oh, look! Actually, the governor title will actually hit next turn. That's that's pretty good. All right, so the swordsman is on the way. Halifax, we should be able to claim as well. Looks like there are other units in various different places. So we'll just keep an eye out. We might be able to actually... To keep the city a bit more than we thought. I like Moksha. He's really good. Stick him in Ottawa. That'll help to stop the rot for a little bit. Lovely. That galley actually can stay there for a little while whilst he thinks about life and contemplates whether or not... Oh, you see, they've even got a library in there for me. Isn't that delightful? Oh, right now. Have we got any more cities? Oh yeah, Quebec's up here. Is it follow my religion? Not yet. It doesn't yet follow my religion. It will soon enough no 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 we don't like we don't like military emergencies we're friends with people so we'll see who joins in oh okay the mayans joined in is that it all right okay well we know they've got a couple of boats around which we'll be careful of actually that's really annoying because i was about to send my settler across the sea but i can't do that anymore um oh the military emergency actually has given me all of the loyalty i need in ottawa so i might as well just call it my city already 
Delightful. Right, let's just get one Droman attack in. Take over Halifax, which gives me yet another city. Oh, after completing that no campus challenge game, I just have this paranoid attitude to like, oh, is the city I'm about to take, does it have a campus? I keep remembering like, it doesn't matter if it does. You're allowed to pick, <laughs> campuses are fine. Oh, it's actually rotted my brain, that game. Quebec, I think should be, oh, not quite next term. That's otherwise looking good. Oh, the trader actually is gonna very nicely work for me there. My Dromans are just sitting pretty. Kokia has annoyingly got some pretty effective looking um, uh, catapults just outside my walls, which is a little bit frustrating, but never mind. Plunder that lovely little trader, 80 gold. Oh, thank you very much. And this should be Quebec done. Okay, they have another city yonder, which is a little bit of annoyance because I don't really have many land units at the moment, but that's okay. Right, I don't know where the mains are coming from, but we're just going to chance our settler. See if we can go over and uh, have a sneaky peeky. Oh, they killed one of my Dromans. I think that was the upgraded one and everything. Oh, how dare they? That is a little annoying, but never mind. Um, okay, let's just take that guy out. And then my swordsmen are doing well against the catapults for now. This guy, you know what? Yeah, come with the battering ram. Cahokia, it's not long for this world. Looks like Canada have only got the one city left, which is quite nice, actually. Um, let's just quickly kill that guy, like so. That spreads my religion, wonderful. Okay, great. Um, oh, there's more navy over here. Yeah, the Mayans, are, they're over there somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how to get to them, but I will find them. You know, I've actually picked up some really really good cities along these lines I'm, I'm happy with how the game's gone so far 1094 and we've got some pretty good cities including some ones that like you know we founded some that we've taken others that we just downright stole some that were city states some that were canadian capitals like i mean this is pretty good it was at uh, eight cities eight cities not bad our science is not not the best but we're not in last which is the good thing um, Gilgamesh has got 21 techs and he's really my main competitor in this area but it looks like my religion has kind of spread across him completely which is a great great thing I'm building my holy sites I've got more dromans on the way oh yes this is lovely I think I think we are doing well as long as we keep the infrastructure up as long as we keep actually you know what um, let's go for castles I just want to I want to get this Corsair going. Only 20 horses. That's exactly what I've got. But once we... Oh, I just one thing before this episode ends. Let me just show you what I was going to do when the temple completes. I've been chasing these Mayan Navy units for so long. Finally found them. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's really good. I might actually settle on this little, this little nubbin over there. Um, here we go. Let's just get in the old apostle. Oh, I'm missing two faith. Hang on. Oh, actually, look. Singapore is mine. And... Levy military, 450 gold for five swordsmen. Yeah, you know what? I'll borrow those. Thank, thank, thank you kindly. Here we go. Evangelize belief. And let's have a look. Oh, look, it's still there. Teeth. <laughs> but in all seriousness, 15 cities of three gold per city gives me an expansive economy. This playthrough, you just you just wait. It is going to get absolutely nuts. And Mongolia, why are you moving all your units in this direction? I think Mongolia want to fight. I mean, they are still technically my friends, but you know what? If they want to fight, they may end up getting one. Just finally, I made peace with Canada because they have one city and it's, it's kind of cute. And their range defense is pretty annoyingly high and they're distracting my navy, but basically it means my military. I can now bring across the sea because it looks like the Mayans are all just here which is just amazing because I've got a settler I'm just gonna plonk myself in this sort of area I'm actually doing quite well at, at dealing with all of the enemy units who are just seemingly being really stupid in their placement it gives me time to you know fix all of the Canadian stuff that I stole slash borrowed from them um, I like to think it's mine now Oh, actually, there's a Corsa. I could get a Corsa. Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? Do I do it? 800 gold for that? It's a lot of gold, but it's only a few turns and I can afford one. That's pretty cool, actually. 
Oh, they're attacking back. Oh, finally. You know when they were just sitting there for so long and I was like, are you actually going to attack me? It's weird that you weren't. Right, it, the, the episode is it is ending here. I promise. Like, I'm, I keep getting so distracted because, oh, it's so much fun. I'm just having so much fun. Oh, damn it. Stop being this fun game. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers, you help keep me going.